Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture in consumer behavior and marketing communication. I am Ashish Avasthi, Assistant Professor, Department of MBA, IMS Engineering College, Ghaziabad. And I am going to take you through the topic of gender and age influence in this lecture. Let me take you through the slides and with relevant examples we are going to understand in this lecture as to how gender and age of a person influence the purchase behavior of a person. So, taking you through the slides. First of all, let us understand what is meant by gender and age influences. As we all know that there are so many factors that influence a purchase decision. These factors can be divided into two categories. There can be a category of individual factors and there can be a category of social factors. Gender and age are individual factors that influence the purchase decision of an individual. Through examples, let us try to understand this. First of all, we will talk about gender influence on decision making. Now, gender has a lot of impact on decision making. Gender influences the types of products and services a person purchases or decides to purchase. For example, you can see certain pictures on the slides. We have a wallet here while we have a lady's bag here. We have a lady's sandals here while we have male pair of shoes here. So, while making a choice of products and services, it is to be kept in mind that there is a certain gender of a person and the products and services would be brought according to the gender. For example, we can observe gender influences while we decide to purchase jewelry. While the men can go for bracelets, women generally go for necklaces or earrings, etc. So, your gender has got a lot of influence on making purchase decision. But let me also add here that gender alone is not a factor that influences purchase decision. Along with gender, the age of a person acts together and then decides the kind of products or services the person will buy. So, in a nutshell, we can conclude that gender and age work hand in hand. Gender and age work in conjunction. Gender works in conjunction with the age of a person and then collectively both the factors decide the types of products and services the person can buy. For example, when we are grown up, when we are working, when we have an office to work in, we certainly we, we go out and purchase formal clothes. While when we are teenagers or when we are studying in school, the clothes that we purchase are colorful, they are bright, shiny and they are such that we can go out, wear them and play. So, therefore, clothes is an example where gender and age have worked together. Likewise, there are certain products and services or there are so many products and services in which gender and age, they work in conjunction with each other. Now, in the following slides, we are going to study the various stages of life of a person and then we are going to discuss about the type of decision making that the person does with respect to buying products and services. So, let me change the slide. We are talking about age influences and we are talking about life cycle stages. So, if you look at this slide carefully, there are many life cycle stages which are written here. I would like to read out one by one all the life cycle stages for you. There is a bachelor stage where a person is young and the person is not married, the person is single. From the bachelor stage, the person moves to the next stage that is the newly married couple stage. Now, in this stage, the person is newly married and he has got a one person added to his life and therefore, the purchase decisions change, the priorities changed, the products and services that the person purchases, those products and services also undergo a change. Therefore, we can say that with every stage, the pattern of purchasing products and services undergoes a change because priorities of life change. And in every stage, you can see that the age of the person increases by certain years. So, the person is very young in the bachelor stage while the person is very old when he is a solitary survivor. So, coming to the full nest one stage. Full nest one stage is a stage where the person is young, married and that person is having one child, a small child. 
so that is an altogether new stage of life where a person is living with a spouse and a child and therefore the purchases again undergo a change many of the products and services which were not purchased earlier are being purchased now and the purchases are done keeping in mind the requirements of the child also when the person moves to the next stage a person is older he is married there can be more than one children at this stage and the children can go to school they can go to kindergarten so the education of the children has also started so in this stage again there is a complete change of the products and services the person would buy so every stage influences the purchase decisions likewise we have full nest three stage in the full nest three stage the children of that person have grown up they are going to college or they have joined a job and the person himself is you know in in early 50s or uh, in late 50s or early 60s and therefore again the priorities of that person change so you can say that with every every stage the kind of products or services which are being purchased and the priorities are changing in the empty nest stage now look at these words empty nest now empty nest means that the nest is empty the house is empty the children have left the house either they are working at some other place or they have gone abroad or something like that and now only the husband and wife who have grown old they are remaining in the house now this is the stage of life wherein medical expenses increase wherein the couple is purchasing more of medicines more of equipments to keep themselves fit they are buying organic food because their digestion is weak and therefore again there is a change in the products and services that are being purchased last but not the least there is a stage of life in which a person is left solitary or alone so when the spouse passes away the person is left alone and then it is the stage in which a person is solitary survivor now in this stage again the products and services are brought which are entirely different from the other stages or the previous stages a person is older single and retired and he or she can no more go to an office or he or she find it's very difficult to do the daily activities medical expenses again increase by leaps and bounds the person is absolutely dependent on pension so we will see that there is again a change in the products and services being brought and in all these stages we can see that age is increasing gradually as you know one stage precedes the other the age is increasing gradually the gender influences are also playing a role simultaneously so depending on the person whether he is a male or a female the products and services are brought in accordance with the gender in different different stages when the age is increasing so let us again recall what we discussed in the first slide that gender and age both these things influence your purchase decisions simultaneously now in the slides to come i'm going to explain all these stages in wide detail so let us move to the first stage that is the stage of bachelor life now in the bachelor stage a person is young a person has very less responsibility to handle there is no spouse there are no children and the person can spend a lot of money on himself or herself so you have a lot of income at your disposal if you are doing a job and that money you can spend on yourself so a lot of recreational purchases are done you purchase holidays you purchase movie tickets you purchase a ticket to let us say uh, some disneyland or some fair you purchase a lot of products for personal use you buy books whatever you like and you you go uh, you go to a lot of outing so all these products are purchased in this stage so a person lives a very active life and fond of sports fashion clothing entertainment and other recreational activities so a lot of spending is done on recreational activities and a lot of spending is done on the person himself because there is no family to look after and the person is not having much of responsibilities so there is an entirely different set of products and services which a person buys for example i can say that when a person is young and a bachelor a person goes to a salon and he or she spends a lot on uh, beauty uh, beauty salon and uh, these beauty purchases so you buy a lot of products related to grooming in this stage so this is a bachelor stage now after the bachelor stage we move to the next stage in life 
as years pass by the person gets married now legal age of marriage is something there in india but we can say that most of the people in india get married today it's like up to 35 years people remain bachelor after which they get married so the set of priorities change entirely after a person gets married when a person gets married he or she has a spouse to handle and there is a family to look after so this is the young empty nest stage i'm still calling it an empty nest because there is no child here so people pursue a joint lifestyle now in this stage people pursue a joint lifestyle there are so many products and so many services which are brought jointly and decisions of those purchases are made jointly while there are certain decisions to buy certain products and services which are made independently also in case of dual incomes they spend heavily on vacations outings and restaurants now they can spend on vacations outings and restaurants because still they do not have a child to handle still they do not have the responsibility of children insurance purchases are commonly seen in this stage now when a person is young and married a person thinks that there is income and still the person is young so this is the most suitable time to purchase insurance policy so there are a lot of people who purchase life insurance policies and general insurance policies while they are in this stage financial obligations are increasing reasonably in this stage because now you have to maintain a home you have to buy groceries you have to take care of the monthly expenses so there are responsibilities which are added in this stage but still there are recreational purchases because still there is no child so this is the young empty nest stage where recreational purchases are heavily done while responsibilities do come into play from this stage we again move to the next stage that is the full nest stage now i am underlining the word full nest so the nest is full there is a husband there is a wife and now a child has arrived now as soon as the child has arrived the attention of both the husband and the wife is on the child now because the child is very small he or she is very young and he or she cannot take care of herself and or himself so the child has to be taken care all the time and a lot of products and services now are brought keeping in mind the child so here you can see there is a picture given and in this picture you can see there is a husband and wife and a pram is being brought now a pram is used for taking the child outside the home and then a pram is being brought here or we can also purchase cradle we can we can purchase baby food baby medicines you know these sorts of purchases are done in this stage so all those purchases which are being made in the previous stage those purchases those decisions do continue the groceries keep coming the furnitures keep coming the curtains keep coming and in addition to that a lot of expenses are incurred on the purchases of the child so when you move to this stage most of the purchases are done in keeping the child in mind discretionary and luxury purchases generally reduce in this stage now in the previous slide we saw that there were a lot of purchases which are being done on recreation and vacations and holidays now in this stage these holidays and recreations and all these purchases reduce why obvious reason is because there is a responsibility of the child to handle in this stage and it also requires a lot of expenses so therefore the recreational purchases go down maybe instead of going for a holiday or instead of going for a 15 day vacation a couple will satisfy themselves with a movie or a couple will satisfy themselves with a let us say a theater performance of 3 hours or 4 hours so these expenses the recreational expenses are reduced the household expenses increase a lot of products and services are then purchased for the baby also so this is how i sum up the full nest stage moving ahead now the full nest stage is then continued and full nest 1 becomes full nest 2 i am calling it again a full nest because here there is a husband there is a wife the child which was very small in full nest 1 stage has grown up or maybe he and he and she has started going to school there can be a scenario in which in which uh, one child who has started going to school is preceded by another child so in full nest 2 stage we can have more than one children in the family 
so it's written here in the stage there might be an addition to the number of children in the family so as soon as there in there is an addition of number of children in a family the responsibilities and financial expenses again go up so you have to again purchase a lot of baby food and pram and cradle and all those things you can reuse certain products which you used in case of the first child but then there are certain products and services which you have to you which you have to purchase again only so you don't have any option so in case of addition to the number of children the expenses increase there was already expense which were being incurred on the first child now a second child has come and you have to increase your expenses the household expenses were already going on those household expenses will anyway uh, not come to an end so they will continue and a lot of additional expenses will have to be incurred now the child who has started going to school now you have to purchase books and stationery on that child and you have another baby who is ready to uh, take baby food so you have to purchase all that also so parents start spending less on themselves now this is a stage in which responsibilities of the family are in full swing so both the husband and the wife they think less about themselves and they have to think more about their children the one who is going to school as well as the one who is going to uh, who's not going anywhere but is is in, is in the pram so they have to think about both the children and they have to make a lot of expenses for their children so they think less about themselves other children orient items such as bicycles toys etc also become part of purchases in this stage so as the child grows in age he or she needs a bicycle <coughs> or some toys are needed and therefore these bicycles and toys become a part of purchase in this stage this is the full nest two stage from here on we move to full nest three stage now the word full nest is continuing because again there is a there there is a husband in the family there is a wife in the family and there are children but then the children have again now grown up the income is high at this stage so father's income has gone grown up the father is earning decent amount of money decent income is coming in parents have grown older and parents at this stage <coughs> are interested in new products purchases so the children have grown up the parents have also grown up they have maybe moved into their late 40s there is decent amount of income which is coming in the family purchase pattern again gradually shifts and there are new products and new services which are purchased by the family for example the family can purchase a family vacation for example the family can uh, spend on uh, travel the family travel or the group travel so such services come into play gifts and contributions are given in this stage because of strong financial position so like i said that a lot of income is coming in the family so gifts and contributions to the known ones to ngos and to various other groups of people so gifts and contributions grow at this stage because family experiences decent income but at the same time the expenses of the family also go go up because the children that were small have grown up so their education has become costlier they are demanding more in terms of articles such as clothing maybe one or two children would require a vehicle to go to his college so all these expenses grow up in this stage and because the income is decent so all the expenses are met and then small amount of saving is also done so we are observing that as we are moving towards the next stage we are observing that the age of the family members is increasing parents are growing old children are becoming young and decent income is increasing while the expenditure is experiencing a shift the products or services which were brought maybe two stages earlier are not being brought now so those products and services which were brought two stages earlier are being replaced by entirely net new set of products and services so this is again a change in the purchase pattern of the family see like i was discussing expenses on higher education etc are made in this stage so the children of the family start going to college instead of school and therefore expenses on higher education become important after the full nest three stage we have an empty nest stage now this is a stage which is experienced by a family 
in which the student go outside suppose there is a father there is a mother and there is a child in the family and after taking higher education after getting the degree the child moves outside and the child goes and uh, he settles somewhere else and he is doing a job in another city so that particular house is not a full nest now it has become an empty nest because it is left with only the spouse it is left with only the father and the mother because the child has gone out so as soon as the child goes out the nest becomes empty at this stage the married couple is older so please look at this word carefully now since the child has moved outside the child is in his maybe late 20s and the couple has grown older financial position has stabilized because either the couple is getting a steady flow of income from somewhere like house rent and pension or the couple is dependent only on pension so income is a study there is no expenditure on the children now because children have become self dependent they are settled outside and they are incurring their own expenditure so they are managing themselves in terms of finances so now the finances are not incurred on children whatever income the family is getting the couple has to spend the money on themselves but then the income is now stabilized and the income is now maybe uh, there is some kind of a pension that the couple is getting so purchases on self improvement luxury products and medical care are made in this stage now what more can a, a, a couple do when the children are outside either they can spend some income on luxury products they can purchase uh, some they can purchase ornaments for the future use of their children or they can purchase books or they can purchase some uh, recordings of lectures of uh, some spiritual gurus uh, or they can go outside and do some vacations so expenses such as these are incurred the household expenses go down because there is not much demand because the number of people in the family have reduced as the children move out and yes one thing is very important to understand at this stage medical expenses increase because as the couple grows old they experience a lot of medical trouble they might find themselves in a weak immunity position and they the, the visits to the doctor might increase so the purchase of medicines and all these equipments of fitness these expenses increase at this stage home security is one major concern at this stage because children are living outside so there is a couple which lives alone in a house so home security systems maybe automated locks or something like that the couple can purchase so home security etc are also included in expenses in this stage so we have experienced this empty nest stage how the purchase pattern changes when a couple moves to the empty nest stage from a full nest three stage the next stage that comes after empty nest stage is the solitary survivor stage now the word solitary means alone so this is a sad stage of life wherein a person is in a older age a person is physically weak and at the same time either of the spouse has passed away so either the husband is left alone or the wife is left alone in this stage and this stage is called the solitary survivor now when a person is solitary survivor he or she has to manage everything alone the body is weak and the purchase pattern again gradually shifts this stage includes older retired and single people and people may have to live alone after the death of the spouse like i discussed income may reduce due to retirement now a person is completely dependent on pension or whatever income he is getting from the house rent the person cannot go out to work the person cannot do any industrial activity or economic activity because of the older age so the income but naturally goes down and the person has to manage every expense in that same income due to old age the consumption pattern lifestyle changes profoundly medical expenses are the single most expenses in this age people have to purchase a lot of medicines syrups they have to visit the doctor frequently there can be conditions where people have to visit uh, the diagnostic center for some kind of a scans or ultrasound or things like that so a lot of money a lot of money is taken by the medical expenses 
people have to uh, put a lot of care in eating because they cannot eat everything because their immunity is low so products such as organic food products such as fruits products such as juices are purchased in large quantities in this stage there can also be products like books there can also be products like photo albums which are purchased in this stage because a person is solitary and he or she has to spend a lot of time alone so that alone time can be spent in reading or maybe going out so people might also need sticks when they are walking they might need support of sticks etc so again we see that with the passing of every stage the kind of products and services which are being purchased by a person changes so in solitary stage the products and services which are being purchased by a person are entirely different than the products and services which are brought in at the full nest 1 or full nest 2 or full nest 3 stage now before i conclude this lecture i would like to again sum up all the stages that we have discussed so far we started with the young and bachelor stage in the young and bachelor stage there was not much worry the person was single he had no responsibility of the family and he was free to spend on recreational products from the young and bachelor stage we moved towards the newly married couple stage in the newly married couple stage still there was no child so there was a lot of recreational expenditure but there was a household to take care of so household expenditure has has ridden has has started increasing from that we had moved on to full nest one stage in the full nest one stage there was a child in addition to the household and the purchases which were being done were being done keeping in mind the child so there was a lot of baby products which were being brought in full nest one stage from full nest one stage we had moved to full nest two stage in full nest two stage the child which was very small in full nest one stage had now started going to school and there was maybe an addition of another child in the family so the expenses on children had grown the household expenses had also grown because the number of members in the family had grown and while on one hand there was a child who was demanding a lot of baby products there was another child who was demanding products such as stationery and school books school bags bottles tiffin boxes because he was in school or she was in school from full nest 2 we had moved to the full nest 3 stage in full nest 3 stage the children had grown up maybe they were taking higher education they were in college the parents had also moved into early 50s there was good amount of income coming in the family but then that good amount of income was also being distributed to various family members the children were demanding maybe vehicles or bikes to go to college or laptops to do their work on but there was decent disposable income and because of decent disposable income and decent savings money was being given to ngos and there were a lot of gifts and contributions which were being made at this stage from this stage we had moved to the next stage wherein there was an empty nest an empty nest stage comprises of the couple the children move out they are doing their job elsewhere or they are they are doing their job elsewhere they are self dependent financially they can take care of themselves so the couple had to take care of themselves only and then they had to manage their finances in such a manner from this stage we had moved to a solitary a solitary person stage in the solitary person stage the person was left without a spouse and this single person who was older in age had to take care of himself or herself there were a lot of medical expenses which were required in this stage and there were a lot of fitness equipments and organic foods and things like that books albums photo albums etc which were required in this stage so students coming to an end of this lecture let me conclude this by saying that gender and age are extremely influential individual factors that will impact your purchase decision gender and age will work in conjunction that means they will work simultaneously how they will work simultaneously we have already seen in great detail during these slides for any questions or any suggestions if you have you can please write your suggestions and questions to me my email id i'll share with you that is ashishashish.awasthiavasthi@imsec.ac.in i'll try my level best to reply to your queries whatever questions you have and i'll welcome your suggestions with this i end my lecture on gender and age influences i hope this lecture was very clear and all the examples were 
extremely relevant. Thank you so much. With this, I close my lecture. Thanks a lot.